Let's set the scene. Leon told Sally, the life which is unexamined is not worth living. He feels this is a witty line as he is referencing the philosopher Socrates. Socrates, of course, is recognised as one of the founders of Western philosophy. But does Leon know the context of this statement? To my knowledge, this statement can be defined in three phases. Phase one, we should pursue a good life. Phase two, to live a good life, we need to make a distinction between good and evil. Phase three, therefore a life without questioning does not have the necessary morality of understanding good and evil. And finally, phase four, therefore, quote, the life which is unexamined is not worth living, end of quote, because a life that is unexamined lacks morality. In this context, there are some important concepts. The cause of not understanding good or evil, which has an effect of no morality and an unexamined life. So if Laura does not know good or evil, she can't know morality. This is why her unexamined life is not worth living. If Jack does not have a relationship with good or evil, there is a problem. But how do we know if something is good or evil? A simple definition, a very, very simple definition from a personal perspective. It brings me pleasure, then it's good. If it brings me misery, then it's evil. That's the personal perspective. Let's do the social perspective. If our actions help others, we can make a distinction that this action is good. If we do things that harm others, it is bad or considered evil. We can question these assertions. For example, are bad and evil the same thing? Maybe foods are bad, but maybe certain people are evil. Maybe, maybe not. But let's stick with this and see where we go. From the personal perspective, ice cream brings me pleasure, so it's good. But cereal makes me feel misery or bad, so it's evil. That does not seem compatible logically. In fact, that sounds like a taste issue, not a morality issue. Let's explore this further. If David helps a group of people into employment, this would be helping others, so this would be good. But, if, but what if David bullies someone so that they lose their job and they can't feed themselves or feed their family? This sounds like it could be evil. It should be important to clarify that the statement of losing your job is not evil, but bullying someone into losing their job could be considered evil. The assertion here is that the bullying premise makes it evil. Obviously this premise can be challenged. So let's take out the morality and, and let's look at this Socrates statement again. Phase one, questioning creates understanding. Phase two, without understanding there is ignorance. Phase three, ignorance by definition leaves us with a lack of knowledge or information. And phase four, therefore, quote, the life which is unexamined is not worth living, end of quote. This can lead to some other questions. For example, does evil exist? You know, how, how, how do we prove the existence of evil? If Jack is bad and Tom is evil, what does that look like? Is the premise true? Can someone be just bad but not evil? Um, we can look at the the personal perspective and the social perspective and we can question those premises so the more we try to develop our knowledge through asking questions ironically the more questions we can develop but one could argue perhaps that this continues this inquiry of knowledge um, in this in, 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 in this world of philosophy so that's my animation video on Socrates' term that the unexamined life is not worth living. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support the content, like and subscribe, I repeat. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support the content, like and subscribe. Also, if you like philosophy videos, then why not check out my growing playlist on philosophy? Now with that being said, I sincerely hope you enjoyed the content.